um, in order to realize uh, Metro Ethernet uh, and the Metro Ethernet network fully, uh, there are certain uh, technologies which uh, work in conjunction with Ethernet technology as such. We'd look at each one of these one by one. Uh, the first one being um, VLAN or the virtual LAN. It's an IEEE standard and it is uh, denoted by IEEE 802.1Q. Uh, in this module, we'd uh, briefly explore it. We'd look at what we what do we mean by virtualization? What is a Q tag or a VLAN ID? And we'd see certain problems which arise and the solution which is provided in this standard. So LAN virtualization is actually the provisioning of uh, uh, basically an E-line service, uh, as we just uh, mentioned, uh, the E-line, E-LAN, and E-tree. Uh, it is based on the IEEE standard for providing virtual local area network. It means it's not a physical local area network. As we all know, a local area network is characterized by the presence of a switching device like uh, a switch and having its own collision domain and a broadcast domain. So it means uh, that uh, the IP addressing scheme of one LAN is going to be different from the IP addressing scheme of another LAN if these two LANs are connected to the same router. Uh, so what we understand from here is that uh, if a router actually has to uh, provide uh, two LANs that it needs to have two Ethernet interfaces. Each inter Ethernet interface is in turn connected to a switch to which there are certain other computers connected. This is how a physical Ethernet network or Ethernet networks topology looks like. If we want to virtualize it, then what we can do is we can take or procure a switch with say uh, n number of ports, take n as uh, 16, then we uh, earmark and we, we, we actually assign these 16 ports belonging to say four different departments. Um, um, for instance, uh, uh, admin, uh, operations, uh, HR, and uh, uh, students affair, affairs. Then if we have these four different departments on these four different, uh, on these 16 ports of a switch, then each uh, of these departments is going to have four ports. It means that four ports of a certain department would be communicating with each other. And this is going to be uh, known as the intra-LAN traffic. Now, if traffic from one department, say from student affairs to the operations has to go, then it would be the inter-VLAN traffic. Now, this concept of how VLANs are defined is, is quite uh, uh, interesting and needs uh, uh, some more uh, lectures. But for now, we just confine our understanding to how the Metro Ethernet uses virtual LANs. So uh, the, uh, as, as I've already given you the example, the traffic of different departments actually is segregated or is uh, separated in different VLANs on the same uh, switch. Uh, so how is it achieved? It is achieved through uh, assigning each virtual LAN with a unique identifier known as a Q tag. The Q tag is, uh, is a field uh, that is defined by IEEE 802.1Q as 12 bits. So uh, it means up to 4096 unique identifiers are possible. Of these two are uh, reserved for this different administrative purposes. So we have 40904 unique VLAN IDs. Now each uh, uh, ID can actually be assigned to, to, to a certain uh, LAN, a virtual LAN. So multiple enterprises can actually connect uh, on the same switch by having their own VLAN IDs. Um, if we just assume that uh, um, uh, the switch is within one administrative domain and the organizations which are connected to that switch or that uh, 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 LAN are uh, uh, managed by a single administrative authority, then there's not going to be any conflict. However, uh, there is a probability that uh, when we look at it in the context of uh, um, Metro Ethernet network, the Q tags or the VLAN IDs of different VLANs may overlap uh, because uh, 
each administrative authority may assign VLAN IDs and these VLAN, VLAN IDs may end up being same. So conflicts and uh, some kind of so overlaps are going to arise. So uh, there is a recommended solution that is in order to achieve such high scalability. Scalability is one of the requirements for the carrier Ethernet. Um, and at the same time, avoiding such overlaps is, 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 is a compulsory requirement. So uh, individual enterprises actually need to define separate lands for different departments. And there has to be some kind of mechanism that partitions or isolates these uh, 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 these uh, uh, Q tags or VLAN IDs, and for that we have uh, specific uh, um, methods uh, we, uh, and uh, protocols known as the uh, end devices, known as the provider bridges and the provider backbone bridges. Now these are the uh, switches with some additional functionality. Uh, we we uh, devote some time to the understanding of these as well.